In some of our plugins, we've added the option to display a Google map on your site. To enable this, you first of all have to generate a Google Maps API key and then copy it over to your site. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate your first API key so you get your site up and running. We start this process on the Google Cloud Platform site. You'll find the link to this in the description below this video. Before we start, we have to create a new project by clicking the New Project button. You can pick a name of your choosing. I'll call mine Yith Demo. And then I hit Create. Now in the next step, we can choose from Google's vast selection of APIs and pick the ones we need for our project. To find out which APIs you need, you can take a look at the plugin documentation. For this example, I'll use the Store Locator plugin, but you might find this tutorial useful for other of our plugins as well. In this case, please make sure you took a look at the documentation first before you followed along, because different APIs could be required for other plugins. On the documentation side, you can take a look at the Google Map API keys menu item. And if we scroll down a bit, you'll find all the APIs you need in order to get this plugin going. I start with the geocoding API. Back in the Cloud Console, we can now add the respective APIs to our project. Make sure your project is still selected and simply input the API names in the search bar at the very top. I'll start with the geocoding API, pick the right one from the selection, and then I enable it. I now simply repeat this process for every single API the documentation tells us by copying it, pasting it in here, and enabling them one by one. Now that I'm done with that, I can go ahead and generate the actual API key. In order to do so, I can click on the top left menu, select APIs and services and credentials. On this side, we can click on create credentials at the top and pick API key. Now the key is generated and I know this is what you came here for, but please stick around for another minute so we can restrict the key in order to make it a bit more secure. Let's click on restrict key. And now we can pick HTTP referrers or websites. By adding a domain name in here, you can make sure the API key can only be used on this domain. After that we are done, we click on done and then save. And this is it. You can now copy the API key to your clipboard, switch over to your WordPress site and insert it in the field of your Yith plugin. If this video was helpful to you, please leave a comment or a like down below and I'll see you next time.